your first battle of the evening, the amazing Dane Arden and Peggy Harden! Hell yeah. All right. All right, have you guys decided who's going first? Yeah, I'm going first. Dane's going guys. first, Peggy, you're going second. Everybody, you guys ready for this, huh? Yeah. Roast on three! One, two, three! Roast! Sweet. Uh, so it's great to be here. Uh, I, uh, I, I think one cool thing is that, uh, Peggy, you're a nonpartisan lawyer. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to hire her uh, to sue the show for making me roast the uh, love child of Ayn Rand and uh, the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> Nice. Uh, Dane told me that he was a genius at the Apple Genius Bar, but I kind of already knew that because <laughs> look at the guy. <laughs> like, you figure he can service your phone, but he cannot service a woman. <laughs> well, that's fair. Um, it's... Yeah, I mean, at, at the very least, I don't look like Freddy Krueger. Um, so that's nice. Honestly, thank you for taking a break from uh, being a nightmare to children. Um, it's funny because Dane's been telling everyone that he's going to be up here roasting his mother tonight. Um, Dane, honey, I am nothing like your mother, OK? I don't think you're secretly gay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't cry because you'll never give me grandkids, and I don't regret fucking your dad, so. You, you can tell that you're not my mother because if my mom was a 57-year-old improviser, I would have shot myself, so. <laughs> Fair, fair. Uh, Dane, you look like you can only come if you're reciting pie. <laughs> <laughs> and the, like, the numbers all have multiples, but your girlfriends never do. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, Peggy is just as good at comedy as she is uh, staying married. Um, uh, not very. Um. Dane told me, unprompted, by the way, that he is the unofficial champion of Mario Tennis 64, which makes him the official champion of celibacy. Hell yeah. Although he is switching to board games because he has become so good at that rolling the dice motion. <laughs> I do like doing that. Um, <laughs> I uh, I did a little bit of research. Can I can I talk about your tattoo? Go right ahead. To? Okay. Uh, so uh, Peggy has a tramp stamp, um, and uh, she has it says, uh, "Will you marry me?" with two names crossed out. <laughs> That's true. Very good. All right, one more time for Virgin Hairlines, everybody. <laughs> Dean, you look like you made a pocket pussy out of Legos. <laughs> you don't know me. Maybe I did. You're trying so hard right now not to say, actually, the brand name is Lego. What, I mean, actually, I play Roblox, OK? So <laughs> shut up. Uh, I, uh, it's, it's crazy to me that uh, <laughs> you have such like a busted face. And like, you seem so nice. Like, we've talked a couple times, but your nose says that your favorite mode of transportation is flying broom. <laughs> That's right, my little pretty. <laughs> the wicked bitch of the West. 
Dean didn't give me a whole lot to go on for this roast. I mean, Dean is so uninteresting, it almost makes him interesting. I would say he's dull as dishwater, except that dishwater could actually get a woman wet. That's truly wild. Because Last you gave me absolutely nothing to go off of. It was, I looked up your name, it was just vacuous in there. It was like I was inside of your snatch. <laughs> That's not what your dad said. <laughs> Well, my dad's dead, so that's very weird. I don't regret fucking your dad to death. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, give it up for them, everybody. Holy shit. Yeah. I have one more. Got one more? Yeah, we can do one more. All right, I get one more. I'll go. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so they say that you're supposed to roast the ones you love. Um, <laughs> But I don't love you. <laughs> I don't know you. Like, I don't even know why we're here. Um, which is something that men say before divorcing you. Very good, very good. I also want to kind of end it on a nice note because Dan is actually a very sweet young man. Um, I have two kids around his age and he definitely reminds me of one of my miscarriages. <laughs> dispute at the Hobby Lobby. That's ins <laughs> Woo! Staff there are getting angsty. God, that was, uh, that was pretty, uh, it was good. That was good. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, erect. So, <laughs> Stephanie, let's start it off with you. What did you think about the opening battle tonight? Oh my God. Great job, you guys. Give it up for them one more time. Great job, but... Peggy, I feel like your voice sounds like that because you've been yelling at Dane for skating outside of your library for <laughs> so long. Uh, and also, exactly why I don't have tattoos. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, <laughs> no one can tell me otherwise. I, uh, but oh my God, uh, Peggy, yeah, you're the fucking winner. Uh, or in my, in my book, you're the winner. One for Peggy. The, the Lego pussy, I'll never forget it. Lego pussy is so good. <laughs> Damn, dude, Peggy's vacuous pussy gets one vote. I do want to hear from Jacob. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, Peggy, you had to cross off my name from the tramp stamp, but uh, <laughs> I guess, uh, no, it is uh, cool to know what it would look like to see Freddy Krueger doing stand-up. Like, he's always in other people's dreams. He can finally follow his own <laughs> dreams now. Uh, and... Uh, Anyway, um, and yeah, also Dane was great. I feel like your nickname should be like Dane Cooks Meth or something. But uh, uh, Dane uh, comes from reciting pie. Kevin actually comes from eating pie. But uh, anyway, after he fucks up. But uh, anyway, yeah, I would vote for Peggy as well. Thank you, Peggy, would too. Pie, bro. Uh, pie what man, the fuck, Kevin. Jacob? I can't enjoy a nice baked good at one also, time. Also, uh, he still owes me utilities when we were roommates 10 I years ago. I know I owe you utilities. <laughs> it was 10 years ago, I know I owe you utilities. Resist. Jesus fucking Christ. This guy's wilding out over here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nick Cannon doesn't pay that much. So <laughs> Are you more comfortable with it in an air horn? All right. Oh, my God. This was something else. Uh, this, uh, Dane, this was a lot like a lot of your relationships with women. Abusive, specifically towards you. <laughs> Honestly, this was not fair. She fucked your dad to death. And then said you looked like a miscarriage after she fucked your dad to death. She killed your dad and then also gave up on having your brother. The layers here. Peggy is your winner. Kevin. Oh man, Peggy wins the battle with three. Yes. Great work. Before we go, our final thoughts from Max Sorich. To you, it looks like, Dane, you're like the, the tutor at the community college, and Peggy, you're like rediscovering your love of watercolors, you know? <laughs> Dude, it's crazy you asked for one more. That was nuts. <laughs> it was like she, she had to beat, and then, oh, man. Um, <laughs> 
Dandy had some good ones. The marriage jokes and the tattoo stuff was hilarious. But yeah, Peggy, Peggy just stole our hearts, you know? Peggy stole our hearts. Peg pegged them. <laughs> Final thoughts of Jake Snow. Can I be real with you guys? Peggy's been divorced a couple times. Dane. <laughs> you have a mommy thing going on, right? <laughs> We looked, we looked at everyone's search history before this, and uh, yeah, you should definitely marry Peggy. Uh, so. <laughs> Peggy is happily married, and I'm very happy for her. She's oh, I thought you were divorced. <laughs> oh, then, oh then, then the divorce jokes worked even less than I thought. Uh, so, <laughs> so yeah, Peggy's the winner, I guess. Peggy's the winner. <laughs> Amazing job, thank you both. Wow, what a great opening.